Now, if I told you there was a population of scorpions here in England, you might think that I'm talking rubbish, but there is. I'm here in the Isle of Sheppey, hoping to find the most northerly population in the world. It's the yellow-tailed scorpion I'm after, and they only come out at night to feed. I'm joined by Neil Phillips, a wildlife photographer from Essex. The scorpions have a tolerance to cold temperatures that has allowed them to thrive in the UK's cooler climate, and there's a unique way of spotting them. Neil, how are we doing, buddy? Hi, Jack. Looking forward to tonight? I am indeed. So what do you think our chances are of finding a scorpion? Well, we are on the top site in the country, so fingers crossed we should see something. Well, we've got our secret weapon. We're going to wait till it gets dark so we can use it. So let's see if we can find one. With a population estimated to be around 10,000, we shouldn't struggle to find one. They're only around two inches long, so they aren't that big. Right, Neil, so secret weapon, yep. UV torch. So why are we using this today? Well, it turns out, for reasons unknown, um, scorpions actually glow under UV light. Oh, okay. So they should kind of show up like a Christmas tree. Basically, yeah, they glow like a, like a glow stick, really. Oh, amazing. Well, I can't spot any here, but I'm sure if we walk along, we might see one, so shall we carry on? Yeah. It is not understood exactly how scorpions could benefit from glowing under UV light, but it is known that the fluorescence is caused by the accumulation of a chemical called beta-carboline in the exoskeleton, which glows under UV light. One theory is that this fluorescence may help to shield scorpions from harmful UV rays emitted by the sun by converting the UV light into harmless visible light. Another possible theory is that this emitted glow from the UV light could attract moths and other insects that scorpions prey upon. Myself and Neil searched all the nooks and crannies along the old wall until eventually we found what we were looking for. So despite their reputation, these scorpions are completely harmless. Their sting's comparable to a bee sting, so it wouldn't hurt you that much. One of the amazing things about these scorpions, they've got an incredibly low metabolic rate, so that means that they only need to eat two or three meals a year to survive. You can see from the size of this, that the claws are much bigger, and that's what they use for their prey. The tail's really just a last resort. You'll also notice that the scorpion's got eight legs, and this is typical of an arachnid, so it's not a crustacean or an insect. This is more closely related to a spider. Even though there's a lot of them, they haven't spread too far. For me, it's another colourful addition to British wildlife. In this case, quite literally. Thanks for watching. Which species do you think I should go after next? Don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, cheers.